I thought one silver coin each. I've got it right here. Here you go. I hope you enjoy your custard pie. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. My golden needle. Wherever did you find it? It was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh, yes. I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh, vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours for the price of a golden needle. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir.
Not wishing to be put through another speech about fine shirts and trousers, Graham wisely keeps his mouth shut. The rude customer doesn't care to talk to Graham. The dressing room appears to be occupied at the moment. This fine cloak is thick and warm. another version of the game because I thought that we were just where you could see them sometimes. But look, it looks like he already has some marionettes. <laughs> A child's wonderland of toys filled this quaint little toy shop. and little shops lined 
Mary Beth and the Pea Wicker Graham. A skinny old dog lies down on the hard floor of the shoe shop. The shoes are yours. I don't think I could find a better use for them. You are good, this young man. I can never repay you. You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore. shop is empty now that the shoemaker and his wife have retired. The old shop is empty now that the shoemaker and his wife have retired. A cobbler would normally use a small hammer to make shoes. Oh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. 